Hi everyone, so this is the year <laughs> I'm definitely getting back into doing some YouTube videos so um, bear with me, I haven't even done any speaking stories for so long on Instagram so a little nervous, it's such a like anxious feeling but I'm going to throw myself back into it and here we go to the first video of 2022. So I post on Instagram stories a couple of weeks ago about if you'd be interested in seeing a house tour um, because me and Kyle were just speaking about how we want to get so much done, like the list is never ending. But when we actually sat and thought about it, we've got so much done in such a short space of time since we've moved in and got the keys. So um, yeah, I think we realised we'd made the mistake of not getting a video for ourselves to document from the, the the first week when we moved in, when there was literally nothing in the house. It's a new build, so really should have got one while it was empty, but um, and then it was just basically chaos with Christmas decorations everywhere. So I think this is a really good time now before we start to get a lot more jobs done, um, just to document it for ourselves. Um, but yeah, put it out on Instagram just in case anyone would be interested. I literally said to go, or oh, it'd be like, I bet you're like a 50-50 split, like at most. I bet you most people aren't bothered. Um, but yeah, these are the results. Um, so yeah, I thought, let's do it. We're going to do it for ourselves anyway, so we can look back. And hopefully I want to get in the habit of doing this like every three months, six months maybe. Um, just to show you updates, like what has changed in the house. Um, comparing back to this original video. So yeah, bear with me. Um, we're fighting against daylight like today. I did mean to get this video started hours ago um, and it's about five to four. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be fun with lighting, but yeah, it might just be a case of me switching all the lights on. Um, yeah, and hoping for the best. So I hope it still gives you a good view of the house in its current state. So yeah, let's show you around. And the front of ours at the minute, we've literally just got that done yesterday. <laughs> so I wish we'd have done this before that got done. But um, just this area put out, and apparently that's Pampas, which I can't wait for if this is real. Um, and this is our drive. So yeah, we are hoping to get some Right in put up here, we're getting CCTV as well. Um, a new light put on, our door sign finally up on here as well. Um, and yeah, that's everything. So we have our entrance here. Um, I'm just stood <laughs> right in front of the front door. Um, and you can see all the way through to the back from here. Um, at the moment, if I just creep up the stairs, so you can see too many shoes. I blame Kyle always for this. Um, we've got no shoe storage at the minute. Um, so plans for this is just getting a nice, hopefully to sort of cover this would be amazing. Um, but yeah, just to get some nice hallway things here. But at the minute, yeah, it's really bare. Um, and then yeah not a lot going on if we just um pretend this stuff isn't here <laughs> um it's just a load of home stuff that's been delivered this week that i haven't got around to sorting out i might do an unboxing actually um to show you the bits that i've bought um we've got the garage through here on the left and to the right is our living room so for those who've been on my instagram for a while you'll know this is basically just my living room um again with the exact same sofas, TV units, corner lamp, literally everything. Um, but yeah, it's just, we're waiting on new sofas and we need to build a new TV unit. So yeah, all systems go at the minute. You'll see these a lot as well. We haven't done anything with the lights just yet. Um, and yeah, the TV will be going on the wall here to hide that. So there'll be no wires, which will be great. And I think we're going to go for some like Scandi looking wood, little thin panels, um, just in this area here. Um, but yeah, really, really better at the minute from the other side. Not a lot going on. Um, and yeah, that's 
about it with the living room so really blank canvas still um and we'll be getting rid of furniture as and when the new stuff gets delivered we have the downstairs toilet so not a lot has gone on hi <laughs> um we've had mirror glass processing um put this light in actually um we're just one of the packages down there is actually a light fitting for here um but yeah this just definitely makes the room bigger having it mirrored and then moving into our beautiful huge kitchen sort of entertainment like living space here um so we'll go over here first so this is our kitchen area um oh, i just love it so much so you get things like the fridge the freezer double oven as standard um which was amazing and things like an integrated dishwasher as well um other things i'm trying to think of what to show you um love these huge drawers just trying to make the most of them at the minute without spices any other suggestions on how to be more efficient with all this sort of stuff would be greatly appreciated um and then just within the i got this from amazon um just to sit within this little drawer so that's been amazing for storing all of that and then just a huge panda at the bottom had to have <laughs> oh, and cool it's looking a bit sad and lonely at the minute um but yeah that did definitely come in handy over christmas just completely full of book spheres prosecco wine so that's been amazing and then just off the back of the kitchen area is our utility room um so we are hoping um we're just trying to weigh up the options but we'd really like um to get these exact same cupboards but just put above um just to really make the most of that space because at the minute that is a lot of storage space i would love to get my hands on um we got we paid extra for an integrated dishwasher that's really handy and then yeah just a nice um sort of pantry cupboard which we definitely need some more shelves for um to really make use of that space and then yeah if we come back out into here oh, it's a really funny story so we didn't actually um get flooring and carpets with story homes we got them ourselves and got those when once we'd moved um and got the keys and didn't realize us being absolute idiots in the flooring world that this is just quite normal if you've already got skirting on um they didn't tell us anything about this which is really annoying um so yeah we got it put down and then we were like mm, what is this like we just don't like it um i don't think it helps that it's not even the right shade for the flooring um but we both come from other new build houses where because we got the flooring as standard um we just expected it to where it's, it goes straight seamlessly under the skirting boards um so yeah our flooring company is coming back out this week to take the beading back off and to remove the skirting boards as well um and then basically all of this floor in the utility room all in here and all down there needs to all come up because it's all a click system um and then it all needs putting back into place and then there's new flooring that needs added, getting added just to make sure it's a really smooth finish around the edges. And then the skirting board's getting put back on. So that's going to be fun this week. Um, but I don't want to think about that right now, to be honest. Um, other bits are my, if you remember from, if you followed me for a while, this is from my old house. Um, so love, absolutely love it so much. Like I'd never want to just waste money getting a new one so really want to just work with what we've already got but obviously it's a quite a bit difference in wood um so i'm thinking i'd love to get it sort of stained so it's a bit lighter to match the flooring a bit better but really love just keeping the black and the black legs on here and then these sort of fit with the scheme anyway which is really nice um other bits so we have got one of the big selling points which you'll have seen is just this huge bay sort of back area with this house style it is amazing um so yeah so we got these are done on curtains fitted last month those are from made to measure and then it's a track that was made to measure as well and that goes all around 
and curved. Um, I won't show you the garden because I actually want to show you it right from the back of the garden. Um, so it's nice like sort of video for us to keep on how it looked. Um, but yeah, I'll do that later. Sofa bed. Oh my God, I'm so out of breath from, I think from COVID. I just can't catch my breath sometimes. Um, so sorry for all the probably really weird deep breaths. Um, this sofa bed's from my office from the old house. Um, just wasn't anywhere to put it for the time being and it's just sort of an empty space. So it's set in here for now. Um, we are getting a sofa, um, which is, I think, coming end of Feb, start of March time from Barker and Stonehouse. Um, and that's going to sit probably a bit further back, like here. Three seater, a footstool as well to make it sort of appear a bit like a corner. Um, and then I probably, I think the snuggle seat's going to sit here in the corner is just a really good um, sort of statement sort of chair, um, which you can just sort of curl into. And where I'll probably sit with my glass of Prosecco watching Kyle <laughs> do all the cooking. Finger crossed. Um, so yeah, other bits, the um, TV we got from AO.com. They hung it for us. I'm not going to even try and guess at how much that was because we were buying so much right at the start when we moved. I've got no concept anymore of how much that was. Um, but yeah, that was hung. That's a 75 inch. It's really, really handy. Um, and it's just nice while you are cooking in this area just to be able to have the telly on in the background and it's big enough to obviously see over sofa areas as well. Um, so yeah, and then we've got an Ikea. This is the Bester unit. Um, where we need to get this put together. That's actually going to go into the front room. Um, it's just been in here with all the bits of it need sorting out. Um, but that's going to get done this week already for all the work we're getting done with the front room. So yeah, this is our just back space. So we absolutely love it. Um, it's, it's going to be so nice for entertaining. I can't wait to see what it's like as well when it's in the summer because it is a south facing garden we've got so um we'll obviously in this room get the sun like all afternoon which i cannot wait for um and have those french doors open so yeah i think that was it really i think more well, i think a lot of these were standard um these these ones weren't these three um because this is where you'd naturally have a dining table so there was a pendant over it but we just thought let's just keep it really sort of high up just get extra spotlights put in especially because we like the idea of being here being able to see the tv so naturally i just want one like if i was going to get one similar to my old house where it's like a quite a low drop one over the dining table but then it's going to restrict your view for the tv so yeah we just went for spotlights um and i think that is it i think we got spotlights yeah these were additional as well those weren't standard um, and then the only other thing really down here is our beautiful Harry Potter cupboard, um, <laughs> which is just full of tools, lots more trainers and just washing bits and bobs, um, Hoover, all the classic bits and just where we keep our millions of carrier bags that we accumulate. So yeah, we're hoping, I would love to actually make more use of that space, um, and actually get this sort of ripped out, um, with it sort of with a joiner actually put in sort of drawers like more shoe storage space at this end so we can it's just easy access because i feel like with these cupboards i had one in my whole old house as well and it just is an absolute nightmare for once something goes to the back of that cupboard it's never seen again um so yeah and that is the downstairs so i think i picked potentially the worst day ever to go and get video you can see all my footprints the grass is so wet but um yeah so this is the back of the house um nothing done to the garden whatsoever um and obviously this beautiful bay area which we absolutely love and then you get a small sort of patio area which we've just chucked my old furniture from my house out for the time being Oh, before we go upstairs as well, I will begrudgingly show you this because I do want to see an absolute transformation for myself as well. Um, so this is the garage. Oh God, I'm so sorry for showing you this. If anyone gets more anxiety and stress like I do looking at this, I'm so sorry. 
Um, but yeah, this is the current situation. <laughs> um, we're hoping to turn this miraculously into some sort of gym, we think. Um, but yeah, we have to find storage for all this first, which is going to be a fun task. Um, so yeah, that's the garage. I don't really want to spend much time in here because it's actually a bit embarrassing. But I know a lot of people's are probably in the same situation. So yeah, from the top of the stairs, um, I'll go to this side first. But yeah, one of the huge selling points of this house as well was this landing area. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Um, but yeah, we'll start in this room here. So at the moment, it's basically Kyle's room slash the dumping ground. Um, this is the smallest room um, out of the bedroom. So at the minute, we've got my old ikea wardrobes which is <laughs> we're hopefully going to get enough storage where we can actually just get rid of them because there's loads of things wrong with it um and his office area at the minute as well so yeah really basic room to be fair at the minute um we got our blinds done end of november i think it was so the same one throughout the house it's like a wood effect like green effect white um and then it's sort of like a shutter effect with tapes down, which is a really nice effect. We loved that. Um, yeah, so we're still not sure what we're actually gonna do with this area, but we shall see. Um, it's sort of just the forgotten about room at the minute. So this is our master bathroom. <sighs> it's literally like a spa. I love it so much. I'm so pleased we went for these tiles. Um, love this as well, the tile rail. <laughs> at all um and that's in all of the bathrooms like that as well um so all of the bathrooms oh it's really echoey in here um has got a double shower area um fun fact it's been three months probably over three months now since we moved and neither of us have been in this shower yet so it's brand new um i'm trying to move back so you can see as much as you can but it's just a really awkward set up room um but yeah this is the sink and toilet with just a lot of my pamper goodies in here there and everywhere um and then to the left is fully tiled up there of the bath oh it's so beautiful so yeah this was um the tiles were already done through story um so we just got to pick them. It wasn't like an upgrade option. These are just were standard. Um, it doesn't come with flooring throughout the house though. So um, we opted to get them because we were doing the carpets and the flooring downstairs ourselves anywhere. Um, just made sense for us to get it. We could find the tile company anywhere. So we got that and then got a tiler slash plumber to come and fit and they've done an amazing job. So yeah, it's all matching tiles and then as you come into so this is the third bedroom um this is my office at the moment um again just all plain we've done nothing with the room it's just set up my ikea mom desk um so this is where i work from and then <laughs> sort of get ready for work work um so yeah this is just just more mound storage that's just came from my old house if you remember my old dressing room this was it all um so yeah it's got all of my clothes and beauty bits in here and hair dryers curlers you name it's in there and then my old dressing table as well with the hollywood mirror and my really really funky chair which i really do want to get um what's the word upholstered really want to get it done in like a oh my god do I dare say the word? I can't say it. I can't. Um, is it boucle? Yeah, I'm going to go with that. You know what I mean? The really nice, like, cute, scandy sort of material at the minute. Um, yeah, I really want to get it upholstered. So that is another plan of mine. And then spray the silver a different colour. Um, but yeah, really, really basic. Still don't know if this is going to be my full-time setup or whether we do something better with the room, but... For the minute, it just works with having bulky storage and needing all of this storage space. Um, but we shall see. On the next, um, hopefully in three months, I'll do an updated house tour. And you'll see what ended up happening. And 
This is where we are sleeping at the minute. So this is the second bedroom. Um, we have just, I don't know, what have we done? Nothing really, to be fair, this is my old bed. These are Carl's old bedside tables, the Ikea mom as well. It's basically every room's got it. Um, we upgraded and got these wardrobes because they didn't come as standard, um, but we knew we needed so much storage room. Um, so yeah, that's those and we do love them. Um, they're really nice. We did an Ikea trip and got these a week or two ago and we've just put them up. So it feels really, really nice just actually um, being in bed. They're quite like, I think because it's so big, it feels so oversized. It's quite like hotel vibe. Um, really like that. And it's got a really nice glass top to it as well. Um, so yeah, this is that. Um, but yeah, hoping to do... Just the odd bit, I think, before we actually do end up moving into the master bedroom. I'll show you when we move, when we go in there, why we haven't gone in there yet. Um, but yeah, so this is the second bedroom. The second bedroom has its own ensuite as well, which is, I've never heard of anything like it. And I absolutely have all the time in the world for it. Um, so yeah, this is my ensuite. Hopefully you'll notice between the first ensuite and this one, that mine's the nice early cleaner one um so yeah this is the second one so we had i feel like i'm talking so quick i'm like getting out of breath and i don't know whether it is because of that or just like the after effects of covid oh right deep breath <laughs> so this mirror again was mirror glass processing so they came and made to measure this mirror which is absolutely beautiful it it made such a difference Again, another reason why I should have done this video when we first got the keys was to see differences like this, but we got photos before and after. Um, got this little number from b and I think it was like £40, but it's like a white gloss, so it fits in really nicely. Um, just to put some toiletries in. And yeah, another double shower. Went for some different tiles in this one, so it's like a really... Um, like warm grey um and then it's got like little bronzy tones in it as well which we really loved um so we've got that in both the end suites and then another nice big towel rail and we got just line or floor and fern here because it really matches the tiles well um and we've both had lino in our old houses and loved it it's it's nice and like a lot warmer on your feet than tiles are so yeah that's it but yeah this will be our guest room once we do move just ignore girls yeah you know what i mean um but yeah this is the this will turn into our guest room and the final room upstairs is i wanted to save it till last um this is our master bedroom which we'll be hopefully moving into soon so yeah so we've got straight as you sort of walk in this door here from the landing um the bedroom here ensuite here so it's another double shower space. We've got the same tiles as the other on sweep. Um, and then, yeah, toilet, sink. That's just an old um, sort of cupboard and drawer from my old house, just from B&M. Just because we've got so many toiletries, like it's actually painful, I don't understand because we definitely don't have enough pampers and things like that to warrant this much, like face masks, scrubs, the lot. Um, and then we got this bespokely done as well. So it sort of just fits in, in line with the tiles here. Um, and that's about it really in this room. Um, and then moving into, yeah, the bedroom itself. Just a huge, huge, obviously statement, um, sort of dressing area. Um, oh, like look at it. So beautiful, it has its own little spotlight area as well. Um, so yeah, these weren't standard that this space is, and it, if you didn't have the wardrobes, it would just have this wall here for you to do what you want with this space. Um, but yeah, we thought definitely want to make the most of it. And I have mirrors as well, so it's obviously facing the window, so it's really nice and light, which we love. Um, and that's that area. And then if we turn around, from here, yeah, we've just got TV that will be here um, when we finally get the room done. This, which I would love to know where everyone puts the, 
look at all these like we've actually got a problem so these are just some of mine and kyle's court collection um and then we've got one of our old double beds for the time being which actually was a lifesaver we were thinking of getting rid of it when we were moving in um and it came in handy so many times we've had obviously covid so we've had to have different rooms while one of us was still negative um and just when we've been like really badly coughing and things like that off it just one of us going in this room to give the other one a good night's kip um so we are going to get just obviously with this huge space here um hopefully i, don't, I shouldn't really tell you now but let's go um <laughs> let's do it anyway um so like a huge like headboard to basically fit that full entire wall we're getting a super king so it'll come out a lot further the plugs are going to come out through the headboard so that's another job um and then we've had these were dunelm made to measure as well just on a track need to get another light fitting for there um and that's everything really and then we will be ready to move in these need a good steam by the looks of it um but we love the color and the material on those they're so fab um and i think that is everything up here um yeah so that is gonna go ahead and wrap up the house to it the first one hopefully more to come um and i'm i can't wait already just to see the comparison once we start getting bits done so yeah i hope um you enjoyed that if you've got any questions if you're buying the same from the same builder as we did um or the same house style or just a new building you've got questions about the sort of generic process of things um or anything you've seen in the video as well within the house um please just let me know in the comments and i'll get back to you so yeah um stay tuned for the next one i'm going to try and film really soon um a haul of just loads of new home bits that we've got at the minute so yeah a big thank you if you managed to get to the end of this video um, and I'd love it if you could give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to me and I'll see you in the next video.